Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, the 2.0 update has dropped, and we are going to go over some of the features that have come out in this 2.0 update. So, first and foremost, guys, we have dungeons. Alright guys, so dungeons can be accessed through obelisks, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it is a pretty classic way to access boss fights in Ark in general, and now we can use it to access this whole new dungeon layout map. Now the map is pretty amazing, um, it's pretty complicated, it's a bit of a maze, and it apparently is going to be changing on a weekly basis, which is... Um, kind of cool because that means we'll get a whole new piece of content every single week which I'm really excited about. Now in these dungeons we do have things like um, room fights where you get locked into a room and you have to take on waves of creatures until you've cleared that room. There are definitely traps in these as well some of which are easier than others but overall um, it's really cool because you go through these you collect blueprints and things along the way including tech blueprints which we'll get to later and um, once you go through all of that you can then fight the boss and once you have fight, fought the boss you can then uh, gather eerie element um, for winning and get teleported out of the dungeon with all your items safely. You can bring eerie creatures out of there and you also get a cool trophy for the boss which is neat. It's like a, a dossier for the boss in trophy form which looks really really amazing. So super excited about all of those things. Um, the dungeons are obviously the biggest part of this whole update but there is still a lot of other content to go over guys so let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick starting off with tech okay guys so one of the other things that has come in this update is tech and so tech is a pretty big deal this week you can get the tech rifle the tech uh helmet or the tech shield this is what i have here is the tech shield now, um, it does take quite a bit to craft, unfortunately. Um, it takes about 16 Eerie Element. One second here, I have one more Eerie Element. And then I also, it also takes a lot of other items as well that I have here in the Fabricator. Uh, I guess I put them in the Smithy. Um, yes, you craft these in the Fabricator or the Tech Replicator. I'm going to go ahead and transfer all of these items in. Go ahead and move this in, and I think we just need metal and crystal, which I have over here. I should be able to grab these real fast. Crystal and metal. I won't be able to grab all the metal at once, but we will get it. Okay. I am so excited about tech, guys. I can't even believe it. Now, tech is not going to be the same on... Um, mobile as it is on PC or console, so it's not going to act in the same way that it currently does on the wiki. Um, that being said, I think it's still going to be really good and useful. I think they will have made adjustments for it, um, and that means that we get to discover what it can do for us on mobile, which I think is pretty great. So let's go ahead and turn this on, craft this guy up, Oh my gosh, it is the slowest craft I think I have ever seen. Alright, well this is going to take a minute. I will bring you guys back in uh, just a second here. Alright, and there we go. Just about... <laughs> that was intense. Okay, so now we finally have our tech shield. Armor 2, high durability, which is great. Um... The problem being is that we now have nothing to run it, so that's going to be fun. So all we'll be able to do right now until I can get more element um, is just equip it and kind of see what it looks like. Alright, so this is the tech shield. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, obviously, tech is a very cool futuristic design. Um, I actually really love the detail on it. I think they actually did a really good job bringing it to mobile considering that mobile graphics um, can struggle somewhat with things like the tech items, but uh, it's beautiful. Now, it does obviously need to be powered up 
um, as it currently has 0% charge, but we will do that um, in the future. We'll check it out. Um, once we get more element going and more of these tech blueprints, I will be crafting all of them and showing them all off to you um, in time. But for now, I just wanted to show off that we do in fact have tech shields that we can craft them um, and that we have all of these items ready to go. Yeah, so, all right. Um, moving on to the next item now. Okay guys, so one of the other major things that has come to mobile in this update is in fact eerie creatures. So eerie creatures are creatures you can find in those dungeons and once you revive them up, as I'm going to do here for seven amber for this little dung beetle, you can then actually tame them. Um, so you can pull implants out of these creatures respawn them on the island you can see they have kind of this eerie effect it's a little bit difficult to see with my current skin on but they are cycling those colors on that top color region uh, now this guy is going to be pretty easy to tame i just need to make sure that i use a bomb on him there we go and then i can feed him some poop and he should be ready to be our friend uh, there we go. Perfect. All right. So he'll only take one more after this, but yeah, eerie creatures are something you can get. They do not cost too much to revive, at least from what I've seen so far. Um, Deodons only cost about 24 amber. This dung beetle only cost about seven. Wow. That was really fast. That was really, really fast. Can you not move please? There we go. All right, beautiful. So we have our eerie dung beetle now. He's very cute. He's gonna hang out in my greenhouse with my normal dung beetle for a while. But generally speaking, I am very pleased with this little guy. He is pretty great. Um, now something you should probably know about these eerie implants guys is that you do have um, quite some time to revive them. Instead of having a 24 hour timer, they do have a 48 hour timer. So you have a little extra time after you get the implant to revive it than you would with most normal creatures. Now, in the dungeons um, this first week, they did have Deodons, Pteranodons, Procoptodons, uh, Dillos, Dung Beetles, Akatinas, and um, Deodons. I think I mentioned those, or Procoptodons. One of the two I didn't, but it is quite a few eerie creatures. Um, the Deodons are, of course, a brand new creature. They, I have made a vi separate video about those, so that um, is going to be on the channel if you guys want to know a little bit more about Deodons specifically. And yeah, it's pretty great that we have these eerie creatures. Now, they do have a small chance um, after... Are you following me? Yes. Um, they do have a small chance after you are breeding two eerie creatures together um, for them to actually create a normal creature. So it's possible to get a normal Deodon by breeding two eerie Deodons together. It's essentially a mutation for a normal creature. That being said, you can never get an eerie creature by breeding together two normal creatures and you cannot breed a normal creature with an eerie creature. That will always um, fail or give you a normal um, a normal creature as a result. So those are kind of the rules for eerie breeding, but I'm really excited. I'm really happy with the way that the eerie creatures look. I think they look amazing. And yeah, I'm really excited to move forward with these and um, tame some really cool creatures in the upcoming weeks. All right, guys. So one other major thing that has come along in this update is chronicling. Now, Chronicling is going to be very cool for one reason and pretty much one reason alone, and that is tame slots, guys. So if you go into a dino's menu, um, you can then go through and you see this little new bar at the bottom of the dino menu that says Chronicle. It comes up with this pop-up. Um, so there are four requirements to chronicling any creature. One, it has to be awake. Two, it has to be at full health. Three, you have to have its implant in your inventory, not in its inventory. And four, the eerie element has to be in your inventory. So one eerie element. So unfortunately, every single chronicle does take one eerie element to perform. Now that makes it quite expensive on the front end. On the other hand, if you get really good at running dungeons and doing those um, pretty much every day, the element might stack up very quickly. So 
um, that might not be too bad. But uh, it is something I cannot afford right now since I spent all of my element crafting a tech shield. <laughs> um, so that is a thing. But once you chronicle your tame, it essentially will give you the reverse um, effect of reviving a tame. And it will put the creature's essence into the implant. And then you will be able to revive that creature at any point in time for only two amber. That means that the creature is not dead but it does not count towards your tame limit um, and it is indefinitely stored at full health in its implant until such time as you decide to revive it. So that's not too bad. Revival cost is pretty cheap, only two amber. I think what's really expensive is the eerie element piece. Um, going in, I do think that the dungeons could drop a little bit more eerie element per player, especially if you're running it solo but um, they may adjust that in the future. I really hope they do, but otherwise, I think it's great. I think chronicling is a great idea, and I'm really excited to be able to use it myself because I love to tame creatures, and I love to breed creatures, and this will hopefully make that process a little bit easier. And uh, just side note, here is the Eerie Procoptodon, and it looks gorgeous. I love how the color kind of starts changing at its tail and then cycles upwards. I think that looks really, really cool. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, I'll bring you back in just a second here. Okay, guys. So now that we've gotten through some of the really major additions to the game, there are a couple of other minor changes that I do want to mention before we end it off here. Um, first things first being the new chat UI. I think this looks pretty good. Um, it's definitely a lot cleaner, a lot easier. Uh, all of these little emojis are really easily accessible. The coordinates, the S and the no are still there. And the type button is now much bigger. It's much less busy. I think this whole chat window um, looks really good now. You can make all these fun little faces. Uh, so on top of that, um, one of my favorite things that you can do is the Rex now has had its camera angle fixed. So. We are now much further back on the Rex. You can still see very, very well, if not better, because of how much space there is now in front of you. And you can actually see the Rex walk. It's beautiful. This is the first time I have seen my Rex's butt while I was on it in a year on mobile, and it is amazing. I am so happy with this fixed um, camera angle on the Rex. I cannot even begin to say how excited I am that they put that into the game. It is absolutely, um, it is just amazing. It makes me super, super happy. All right. Um, they also added some new language support for Turkish folks and uh, added some volunteer translators to game credits for people who did all of that. And then they also optimized wooden spike walls and metal foundations to improve performance. Um, I do think they're a little bit less shiny now. I have seen the metal foundations and they look slightly less obnoxious, which is great. Um, but overall, they're a little bit less laggy. So those are the major things that made it into their patch notes, the major changes that were noticed, obviously. Uh, pretty thick update, guys, is the 2.0 update. And I am so, so happy with it. Now, we will be doing a whole lot of eerie creature um, taming and breeding over time. I will also probably be doing smaller videos on each dungeon as it comes out each week, as well as the individual boss fights so that people kind of know how to go in and uh, fight all of those bosses. So all of that will be coming as well in the future here. But yeah, guys, 2.0 is out. It is amazing. Um, and yeah, I think you should go run some dungeons. So guys, I do think that is going to do it for this video. So please do remember to hit that like button if you have not already. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. All right, guys, I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguanas.